everybody. Welcome back to Gold Detroit and Cap at Home. Uh, I'm Miss Van, and today we're going to make a tiny leprechaun inspired top hats. So uh, before we get too far into the project, I just want to shout out a quick thank you uh, to General Motors and the Community Education Commission of the City of Detroit. Thank you so much for making these videos uh, available and free to all of our viewers. All right, so I'm just going to show you what we need for the project. So you should be able to get most, if not all of this project completed with one sheet of paper. Uh, I'm using white paper because I just happen to really like painting. But if you have a uh, colored construction paper, that works too. Um, you're going to need some green paint, some gold paint, and some black paint, uh, two pipe cleaners, uh, green for the four leaf clover on the top of the hat. I have a ruler, and then I have a few things uh, that I can use as circle templates. I have scissors, I have a paintbrush, and some string, and I have a hole punch, and some green glitter. And then my cleanup materials, uh, I have a recycling bin under my work surface. Uh, I have one bucket of water. I normally use three buckets of water when I'm using acrylic paint, uh, but I pre-painted the black and the gold paint. Uh, to save time. So I'm only going to need the one bucket because I'm only using the one color. And then I have like this little piece of paper towel in case I get any uh, unwanted paint on my surface. And then uh, for the glitter, I have a box lid and a piece of scrap paper to get the extra glitter back into the glitter tube and to keep as much of it as possible off of surfaces. All right, so to get started, I'm going to choose my circle templates. So this one is going to be the brim of my hat. And this one is going to be roughly the top of my hat. And then I have a ruler. So you can just kind of take a look at how your circle fits and you just make sure that you use the extra amount for the, um, the cylinder of the hat here. And then there's going to be a little bit of extra space on the paper, uh, possibly. So this is where I would paint uh, the gold section for the hat buckle. And then um, I would measure maybe the top inch or so of the paper for the hat band. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that mark. And then the middle section here is going to be the cylinder of the hat. And then this is gonna be the top of the hat. This is going to be the hat brim. And I'm going to put it on the edge here so that it's easier to cut out, like right on the corner of the page. All right, so now I'm going to start cutting out all of my pieces. And this is, this is, um, my favorite type of paper, which is mixed media paper, but I did an example in regular plain printer paper. But you can use any kind of paper you have. I did my first example in poster paper and that was nice too. All right. So this is going to be the part that I would paint black to be the hat band if I didn't already have some black paper set aside. But I actually I'm going to leave this as the template for 
the size of the hat band that I will need later on. And then I have some tape here. Um, I'm going to use the tape to hold everything together. And it, um, it's okay because I'm going to paint right over it. But if you're using colored construction paper, um, you can use glue, or you can just make sure that you put the tape on the inside of all of your connections. And as I work, I'm just going to put my tiny little scrap pieces in my recycling bin just to keep my work area from getting too cluttered. And I'm cutting this one out first because I need to cut out the middle. So I'm going to attach this with some tape. And that is a little bit smaller than I have here. So I'm just going to make this the same diameter as my lid here. All right, and then I have this extra piece that I can cut off. So I have an extra piece of paper if I need it. So I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape that into a cylinder. I'm just gonna make a few pieces stick them to the edge of my table here so that I have them ready. Okay, so So I'm just going to tape right or paint right over that tape. And now I'm going to use my cylinder. I like the cardstock because it holds shape better than the regular paper that I used the first time. So, or the second time. So I'm going to trace this. And I'm actually going to cut this inner circle a little bit smaller because we're going to make some tabs to connect the two pieces. And before I attach that, I'm actually going to make some holes with my hole punch on either side of the cylinder here to attach my string. So I would just tie that. I'm just skipping that step and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of little notches here. They don't really need to be any particular thickness. They just need to be there so that you can easily connect the cylinder of the hat with this brim. And I could probably make them a little bit bigger. All right, so that just slides right into place. I'm going to fold them up here. All 
And don't worry too much about how this looks because the band is going to cover it up and so is the paint. I'm just going to make this a little bit narrower. Just a little bit. So it works. Okay. So I would want to leave this so you can get to the string. And then I'm going to actually cut this one out for the top of the hat, but I want it to be a little bit bigger than I need because I'm going to make the tabs so that the lid or the top of the hat kind of fits inside the cylinder instead of the tabs of the hat fitting around the outside of the cylinder. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And then you fold all the little tabs. And then at this point, I'm just going to skip ahead a couple of steps. So you would paint all of this green. And while the green paint is still wet, you would apply the glitter so it sticks. So I'm just going to skip to the one that is already green and dry. This here. As you can see, this is just the regular paper version, and it doesn't really pull its shape quite in the same way as the cardstock, but it still looks really cute. So I would just fold the tabs in and tape that. And then now I'm going to skip to the part where I make the four leaf over. And you just kind of bend the pipe cleaner into a couple of heart shapes. And I tried this a couple of times and I could only ever get three. So that's why I have the second piece to make the last heart.
And here's my little four leaf clover. I'm going to put a little bend in the stem to be another leaf. And you would just slip that in your band. And then to make the buckle, you need a square with two, or a rectangle with like two smaller rectangles. And you would just cut that out. And here's my buckle. And it just slips through like that. Or rather like that. <laughs> and you can fit this around your hat to hold on your clover. Well, I think you get the idea. Here. <laughs> Maybe some tape. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Miss Van. Thank you so much for joining me today at Cafe at Home. Uh, don't forget to come back at 4 p.m. next week, Monday through Thursday, for more Cap at Home and Gold Detroit videos. Um, if you miss us live on Facebook, you can catch us in our uh, video libraries, uh, also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, come back and join us anytime.